Hi guys, we're back again today here in the flower shop. Um, three hoodies, three pairs of pants. It is an iceberg in here every single morning. Um, if I didn't have this mask on, I could see my breath. That's how cold it is. So anyway, get past my frozen stage here um elsa over here is going to make look how pretty those are those flocked um willow that came in um this morning a man came in and he ordered an arrangement for his wife for their anniversary it's a hundred roses in a massive vase we're going to show you how that looks um a rose arrangement that big um like i said we're trying to bust through these videos as qu quick as we can so that we're not it's boring to watch a video that's super long. And again, I'm going to say this. I've had people tell us, why don't you guys put a backdrop? Because it's not real life. It's not real life. I'm not going to put a backdrop. Um, these tables, yeah, they, they've they had a million flower arrangements made on them. Like these tables are old. And that's, you know, it shows the amount of stuff that's gone out of the shop and all the work that's done here. So... I'm not going to make it perfect. This is this is a flower room. This is a work room. It's real life. Um, if I put, you know, a little table and a tablecloth and it, it, it wouldn't be reality. And, you know, we tried to do that before and it just, it's not, that's not what a flower shop is. So um, people in a flower shop are not fully, you know, dressed up every day. At this time of year, you're in hoodies, you're in sweats, you're in long johns, you got heaters at your feet, you're trying to stay warm. So, this is not a fashion so show, so I know I look horrible, and don't come for me because that's just reality, like warm test, no fashion statement, and I don't care if I match as long as I'm warm. So, we, we're going to make this man's arrangement, we're going to make it nice and beautiful for him. Irene is very short, so she's probably going to have to stand on something to make this. I think it's kind of funny. Um, so, here we go. Let's get started. Yay, I found a stand for you guys. I had a camera stand, but I tripped and broke it in here one day. Just like I tripped and broke the ring light. So, yeah. So, we're just making do now. You guys are sitting on a bridal bouquet holder for when you make bridal bouquets. And it's working out pretty good. You guys would never even have known. Okay. Let me see some clippers going off. Okay. After this, we have another anniversary too. My man ordered another large arrangement. Now you wanna make sure the year flower. Okay, the guard petals, we have not taken off yet because I don't know about other florists, but here we make the arrangement first, then we'll come back and take the guard petals off because when you're making an arrangement, the flowers get banged around and stuff and you don't want the roses getting bruised or anything like that. So we just leave them on. We'll come back, take them off later. Around Christmas time, it's very hard to get like red ribbon and red glass or Valentine's Day. Oh my gosh. Red is like life. So we try to keep as much red vases around the year. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's funny. I tried to turn that with one hand. Um, we try to keep as much red as possible. And when you're designing, you want to keep spinning your arrangement. Spin it, spin it, spin it. Because you want this to be round. And if you do it from one side, that's not going to happen. I always spin the arrangement when I make it. In fact, when Irene was learning to design, I had got a, um, 
a lazy Susan, the kind that would go in the middle of like a kitchen table to spin, and I would have her set the arrangements on there. She would hide it every day and not use it. <laughs> and every day I would have to be like, Irene, where's the thing I got for you? Oh, I don't know, Jen. I don't know what happened to it. It took her a long time to learn how to make round, but now she does, and she does a very good job at it. Even though she hid her little um, lazy Susan every day. Remember, always cut your stems at an angle. That way, when the stem touches the bottom of the vase, you want the water to be able to get under that stem and drink if it's flat and it's sitting on the bottom of the vase water is not going to get under there i mean it will but not like it should if it's cut at an angle god can you imagine them delivering this drivers love love arrangements like this let me tell you oh they love it because they could take 10 arrangements 20 arrangements at a time on a route or one of these and then the delivery phones that we have for the vans don't really have spaces for big old custom arrangements like this. So two drivers are probably going to have to go. One's going to have to hold this and the other drive. Let me spin this a second, babe. Let's see what we got going on here. You want to make sure your roses come out at an angle. I mean, in a circle, you want it to look kind of like a rainbow. And when you're putting flowers in the vase, don't hold them like this. Don't start up here. You're going to snap the stem. You want to hold toward the bottom and guide it, hold it like a pencil and put it in. So I told him if they didn't fit, because he brought this vase in. I told him if they didn't fit, I would have to put them in a big old basket. So I am really hoping we can get these to fit and we don't have to rearrange this whole, this whole thing here. Ooh, it's kind of tight. <laughs> That's only 50. Should be. That's only 50 roses. Yeah. <laughs> this is going to be hilarious. When the rose arrangements are this big, don't get me wrong, I love baby's breath. I like it, but I think there's a lot more expensive fillers when you are spending this much money. I would prefer to use wax flower, misty, something like that. Baby's breath is cool, but when you're dropping this much money on an arrangement, give the customer some nice filler. Don't give the customer baby's breath unless they ask for it. Some people really like it. And if they do, awesome, use it. But when they're spending a lot of money, give them an expensive filler. Or you can add a little bit of baby's breath and, you know, mix it with an expensive filler. What also looks nice in something with this many roses is pit. Pit looks really nice in here with this many roses, ruscus. But once we add the tree fern to this, Make this arrangement look so nice. I'm going to show you what tree fern is. Let me go grab tree fern. Also, when you're making an arrangement, and you're, you're right here on it, making it. Sometimes you need to back up four or five feet and look at this arrangement from a distance, and you'll be able to see, like, okay, this side is lower than this side. Like right here, for instance. This side is way lower than over here, but I didn't notice that right here. It wasn't until I left to get the tree fern and backed up a little bit. So always step back and look at your arrangement. Okay, this is tree fern. Once tree fern 
Do you see the difference tree fern makes? Once you mix it, in, it just makes it look very elegant. I like the way it looks with roses. And like right now, push to the side. If you can't get any more in there, we'll come back through and um, buff it out, even it up. Again, all the guard petals are on these roses. Do me a favor, lift that up like that a second. Well, I can get some more down in here. Don't move, don't move. I'm having her lift the arrangement so that the hole gives us a little bit more room to put some more down in here. And really, this is a lot of roses for this base. This, the water on this is gonna have to be changed out. I would change it a couple times a day. Spin. Okay. Lift it up a little bit. Five more. Six more. You know what, Irene? <laughs> Quit adding. <laughs> and I broke one. Okay. So there's still a lot more. I like. <laughs> Okay, lift it up a little bit more. Okay, so we're just gonna have to get these in here. All right. Okay. Oh, last one. I, I broke one in there. <laughs> okay, ready, lift? All right, go get the last one and then we're gonna poke that guy down and we will fluff all of these out. Okay, so here we are with the roses. We're starting to add the tree fern. Uh, we needed some more. So we're gonna come back in with a little bit more. You can see the tree fern makes the roses just look a lot more elegant makes the arrangement look a lot more expensive with different types of greens. Can you give me some myrtle to add some tall pieces of myrtle in here? Thank you. And yes, as soon as the driver walked in and seen this arrangement, first thing he said, oh, great. Who gets to deliver this? <laughs> ah. Any brown piece on a green, pull it off. Do not leave it on because if there is a brown piece on a green, People are all automatically going to assume everything in that arrangement is dead, even though it is not. Or water spots on a petal, guard petals left on, they're going to be like, wow, this arrangement's old. And it could be brand new. Brand, these are brand new. But if you leave these guard petals with marks on them, or a green with a piece of brown on it, the person's going to look at it and say, wow, this isn't fresh. Even though, actually, it's as fresh as it's going to get. I figured I'd add some of these or just to make it even more taller for you to deliver. <laughs>
and I think we have about stuffed anything we possibly can. We need to put one more piece of these tall greens up in the middle. And then we're gonna have Richard start helping us pull off all of these guard kettles down to the fresh rows underneath. Those guard kettles protect the rows when they're growing wind, weather. So what we're going to do is we're going to take off the guard, we're going to spray the greens, take off the guard petals. Well, we're going to spray the greens again. Take off the guard petals. We're going to spray this whole thing down with crowning glory, which is going to seal this up. And then we're going to add some fragrance to it. Nothing more is going to fit in that base. You just take these two strings. Uh -huh. like this. And it makes a perfect bow. Every time. That'll tie around there. The only reason I'm using a pull bow is because we are out of red ribbon. Red ribbon is on back order from all the supply companies because of Christmas time. In a shop, if you need red, you better get it in October, November, because around Christmas or Valentine's, if you wait, you're not getting any of it. All right, now we get to start taking the guard petals off. So once you make the arrangement, pull off. I want to help Richard because it's going to take all three of us to do all these. So we're just going to take off the outer three or four petals, the, pro the protective ones. So underneath, you see that nice rose? Once those guard, guard petals come off. Where's the mask? And then we will spin it. Okay, so we are done now with this arrangement. Hunter roses in a vase. Very nice.